Hi, welcome or welcome back on my channel. I'm always Stefania and today we are exploring a journey through our to all my vintage approaches in this last year, I can say. So a little bit of history. Um, I started to, interest, to be interested in vintage attires, in vintage outfits and in vintage look many, many years ago. But I didn't have the courage to start a real journey into vintage um, until 2021, I can say, a uh, year in which I got married and also I went into therapy. So my uh, therapist gave me the courage and the strength to start to explore my real self to explore my passions and also to explore there's this blanket that is going everywhere okay uh, to explore uh, my love for vintage style mostly for 40s and 50s and so uh, with little steps at the end I can say in fall 2021 at the end of 2021 I started to explore this uh, this theme and uh, I became serious in 2022 and so I wanted to take a look to all the things that I've accomplished in this year uh, regarding my vintage style, regarding my vintage passion and I want to start from afar. So uh, I am taking a look to the picture that you will see in the video here on my tablet because I don't have a big screen here in my studio so I have to <laughs> do like this. So uh, taking a look at my outfits and uh, I have to start from the late 2020. Uh, I had this I can say orange pinky hair so my hair uh, have been of different color uh, but this is uh, the one before getting blue in 2021 so I had this floral dress that I still have and I am planning to use it for uh, the Florence, the Florence Welch concert here in Italy because it's very her uh, I don't use it now every day because my look is very different and I started to feel beautiful in that period of time. I started to interested in fashion and to create every day, encouraged by my husband, a new look, a new outfit to try and to use during my day. I have to say that in, in Italy 2020 has been as 20. 2021 a very bad year uh, we didn't left home for a long period of time and so this possibility to wear something uh, different every day gave me the strength to go on gave me a reason to go on because I was um, I had this very big fear of losing my job I have a yoga studio and here we stay closed for seven months in 2022 so you have to image that uh, imagine that and so i had to find the strength to to do something for myself and so this one of the things explore fashion and in this uh, picture you can see my very pink hair i was in melfi which is the city my mother is from and i had one outfit that i'm not proud of uh, so I also have to say that I was a little bit bulky in that period of time. It's not boy shaming, I am not sustaining that you have to be thin to be beautiful. But I was suffering from something that I didn't know what was and it was my thyroid. So I was bulky of liquid, I had a lot of water into my body and you can see in this picture from my legs. So, um, this is my ghost look. I still wear ghost sometimes, mostly when I go out with my husband. Uh, 
because I'm a little ghost uh, soul. Uh, but I try now to um, create uh, a go look which is most mostly uh, vintage inspired, so Victorian as, as I can call it. So this was the past and uh, in the uh, September of 2021 you can see my uh, skirt. This was a skirt, it's a gift from my mother and I used it to, to practice my ATS, the American travel style. My hair is blue as was when I got married but my hair was, wasn't very vintage at that time. So what this, <laughs> you can see the background is the same. This was one of the last pictures without uh, the attempting of vintage attire. Uh, this was another one in September too. Uh, you can see my face, I'm not very relaxed, uh, into my yoga studio. And uh, these are other picture of the summer of 2022, like this. So another uh, goat inspired uh, attire. This picture in which I am playing as a ballerina and from my face again you can see the problems with thyroid that I had. I was very um, bulky, I can say, on my face, uh, bloated with water. Luckily I found uh, illuminated <laughs> <laughs> a very enlightened um, doctor which said to me that maybe the thyroid was my problem and resolved everything with just one little pill a day. So if you have the same problem please maybe check your thyroid levels. And uh, in uh, summer 2021 also we have this picture into a uh, city near Gravelona Toche in Piedmont. I still have I think this uh, dress but I don't wear it anymore and maybe I should sell it but uh, I would like to wear it on the beach maybe this summer so this was the past and after I started to try vintage looks and vintage um, outfits this is the first attempt polka dots is uh, of course a classic Everyone in the vintage um, community, mostly in uh, the apprentice vintage community, started with polka dots because we all think that the 50s was the era of uh, polka dots. No, it's not necessary. I love polka dots, so I still wear it nowadays. But it's not necessary from the 50s. For example, in the 80s, they came back very voraciously. So <laughs> um, this is the first uh, attire that I created with a polka dot uh, shirt and uh, um, mm, skirt, which is too, too short for the 50s. This is my cat. You can hear it maybe in the background. And after we have this one, I have the same skirt. Uh, my shoes on and a little shirt that has vanished. I don't know where it, it, it is nowadays. I don't know uh, how to find it because it vanished from my wardrobe. But I also started to explore my hair, which is a sensible content for me nowadays. My hair is my biggest <laughs> Here because I am trying, trying to get the final look, the definitive look, but every day my hair are beating on me and I am trying to understand how to sort them out every day in the same way and I haven't sorted it yet. So uh, after I started to buy some clothing from the second hand market and I never stopped. So I'm very thankful, like this skirt that I have in two pictures. Here is the first in black and white and this is in color. And also you can see my hair that is still not sorted out in a vintage way, but <laughs> never mind. And um, I, I, I know Keanu is a bad life, the life of a cat. And uh, this is the, I think the first, 
uh, and this is my also my YouTube profile picture because of that. It's the first near vintage uh, outfit and look for my hair and my clothing that I created in I think the end of September 2021. Uh, so I have this t-shirt from Hellbunny. Also the uh, skirt is from Hellbunny and my uh, flat shoes. I was feeling very pretty and I have to admit that I was. So I'm very proud of this first outfit. I still had some problems with my hair. As you can see in this picture into my yoga studio, I started my to um, sort out my hair with the um, heated rollers uh, because I was thinking that sleeping with the foam rollers was too impossible for me. But now I've learned that it's not like that, so now I'm using the foam rollers and uh, wet set. But at the beginning I was using uh, this, so the heated rollers and the hot rollers or heated rollers and so the result was not so vintage as you can uh, imagine and this look uh, that I have as a profile picture into a lot of profiles also is uh, uh, made with uh, hot rollers and I have a little uh, mm, Oh, I don't remember how to call them. Victory rolls. Okay, little victory rolls, but you can't see them. The problem with my hair is, is also uh, my hairdresser. So she's very good with colors, but as all the hairdressers in the world, she also always wants to cut my hair. So they are too short. And every time I try to curl them, you can see I look like a lamb today because they are very short and I'm trying to get in that a little bit longer. So uh, you can see in this, in this picture too that this is the problem. But my hair sorted out little by little uh, during the, uh, this period of time, as you can see in this picture uh, in front of my library, the first uh, good experiment of um, wet set and also in this picture into my yoga studio too into my uh, home studio too my hair is darker is very royal blue and I like them very much I think I will um, use this dye again to color my hair and so uh, you can see in this picture on my sofa that I sorted out how to create vintage uh, look. Uh, I think the um, point from uh, the point, the turning point of my vintage journey uh, started from I think the spring of 2021. You can take a look too. Uh, this picture I was in the Natural History Museum in London and I had this air <laughs> of about three days so they resisted and they were beautiful uh, I was very satisfied with with this dark academia vintage look and outfit so uh, I think that this that was my turning point this picture I'm very proud of is a, a real vintage uh, dress for from Singapore and I was going to vote <laughs> so I was going to uh, vote for our um, I think uh, our mayor so in Turin we changed our mayor last summer and it, it was very hot but I was very proud of, of, of what I was doing and so this is my vintage um, journey this picture is, has been taken into the um, book fair of Turing, which is very famous. Uh, I was very pin up. <laughs> I had a very pin up um, outfit and I was feeling very pretty. So I think that my vintage journey, and you can see me today, I have a simple um, outfit and a simple look for my hair. But I think that the most important thing about, thing about my uh, winter journey has been the satisfaction and the happiness 
that brought to me this journey. So I was very lost. At the end of 2020, I was very lost. I was very frightened because we had to get married in the middle of a pandemic and uh, until the week before our wedding we didn't have any idea of what would be allowed to do in Italy. So we had the possibility to have our ceremony in church and a little reception with 30 people uh, into a little restaurant outside because it was allowed only outside to eat in that period of time and I was very lost I was searching for myself and I had this big big desire to find my real self for years and so now I can say that I found myself I found my real self I found my place my nowadays um, I think look and outfits are inspired by the 40s and the 50s but also a little bit uh, to dark academia and uh, college core so sometimes I like to explore other uh, aesthetics and uh, now I, I appreciate what a dress can do to myself what uh, my hair can express about myself so this journey is not came to an end and I hope to do another video in a year to talk about how my style evolved again. Uh, I hope it will remain vintage because I love it so much. And, um, but it saved me, saved my, my mental health a lot and uh, my self-esteem. And uh, now I am more secure about myself, more secure about how I look and uh, I'm getting 40 this year, so I, I'm taking a big milestone and I know that I have to be very strong because these milestones in life are very difficult to, to face. So I hope that my story maybe will inspire you to getting more vintage to, or to find your real self. Maybe you want to dress as a ghost. I have a friend that found out that she likes a lot to dress ghost, to dress dark, and she didn't have the courage to do that. And she, she's, she's done a um, um, journey like mine. So step by step, she's finding herself. So I hope that this journey and this video will um, help you to find your real self, to feel better about yourself, to feel that you are real, and that you're satisfied as you are uh, and uh, that you don't need to change maybe your body but just your clothing to feel uh, your real self. So I hug you all and I thank you very much for watching this video and uh, we will see you very shortly with another video and uh, bye!